Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Long Live the Queen. So in the last episode, we started off the game that was totally legit beginning and not something I set up beforehand. Yeah. And Emily, this is your line. Dad, I have troubles, troubles with Ixion starting years ago. Why did mom fix it? It's Ixion, by the way. Shh. That's an I. Lictium. Your mother told the du Duke of Marie and the Duchess of Hellas that it was their problem they should sort out themselves. Oh. Should I have done that? The situation is different now. Everyone on all sides wishes to see what sort of queen is coming to the throne. Everyone is judging me. Alright, well, thanks for making us feel bad, Dad. I know, right? That, it that feels bad, really Dad. Mean. So we need to raise our cheer and our willfulness, or else we'll get yeah. into a bad situation. Alright, yeah. um. What do you mean, Dad? Uh, what should we work on? We should work on... Something. Naval strategy and resist magic? Sure. Okay. Dude, that's totally... I know totally what we're doing. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. You gain an innate resistance to light and dark. You can now see in the blackest caves or stare into the sun without going blind. You learn to con consciously project a magical shield around your body, blocking intrusion, a powerful technique, but you can't keep it up for long. You learn about the requirements for a civilized... Civilized, civilized sailors to rescue the crews of a sinking ship, even an enemy. You learn about the challenges the, to naval warfare posed by unpredictable weather, as well as the dangers of sailing too close to an unknown coastline. Yeah. There is a woman here to see you. She wishes crown pro um, bleh, funding for a project. You can read this. Thank you for seeing me, Royal Highness. I oh, that's you. that's a, okay. You're really scratchy. I think you were right, Kitty or Mike. Shh, not. Is that better? Okay, yeah, it's a lot better. I don't know Read. what to give her. I don't know what to give her voice. I have no. Just do a silly. Okay. She's a peasant. She doesn't matter. Thank you for seeing me, Your Royal Highness. I I come to you on behalf of the people. Is that good. I wish, I yep. wish to build a hospital where. Any citizens afflicted with disease can be brought for treatment. Hmm, central resource could help people who don't have doctors of their own. Sure. You will be happy to invest in your venture. Venture. Chat. Yeah. Okay, so like I said, we need more will, we need more cheer, and we need to lower our pressure a little bit. Yeah. So... Um... Let's see. And my headset fall off my head. Great. We need to be willful and cheerful. I'm trying to think. That would lower that. And this would give will. Okay, I'm going to do this one then. You spend the weekend hold up alone in your room with your favorite toys. It's childish, but you feel a bit better. Okay. Now we're back up to this, we lowered this, and we lowered this. We're gonna do willful next time. Yeah. I didn't mean to do that. Totally. Um, oh, what do we raise up now? Let's keep raising up our lumen stuff since yeah. that's the lowest out of anything. Yeah, let's do this. I sound really like a snake when I do words with an S in it. You gain increased resistance against heat and cold, becoming comfortable in different uh, weather and environments, and able to sip hot soup without burning your tongue. You learn how to quickly flare magical shields around you to deflect an incoming attack. This uses much less energy than a constant shield, but it requires good timing to be effective. You close your eyes and call out when you detect your mentor casting a silent spell behind you. You learn to detect ongoing enchantments, such as blessed weapons that can do magical damage. I can eat too without blowing my soup. You're required to stand in judgment. A woman has been convicted of attempted murder and requests the mercy of the crown. Your Highness, this slat slattern dares to beg pardon, but she admits that she tried to poison my sister under her own roof. Which is there? Corsand, the Duchess of Mead. His oldest full sister is the wife of the Duke of Kigo. Kigo. And his mother is the Duke of Lilai. Whatever. Family ties are complicated. 
Is she all right? Well. <laughs> she is unharmed. We caught the culprit in the kitchen before anyone could eat her foul spew. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? It's just as it is. Them devils killed me brother and broke my ma'am's heart. Lied to her they did when when she went to see why they'd not come back. Said he'd be gone for a soldier. When he never would. Said he'd gone for... What? I don't know. What? He weren't the only one neither. I waited ten years for my chance to get my own back. That's justice. You see? She's completely unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. Mm, this might have something to do with the last Duke of Mead. He was involved in all sorts of scandals. I... Uh, yeah? I need to know if she has any justification for her action. However, directly accusing a noble of murder would create an uproar. You must be... Circums Circumspect. Is it possible... <coughs> Is it possible that a relative of this woman might have met an untimely demise at some point in the past? That is not impossible. However, if that were the case, it would still have nothing to do with Corsant. The person who might have been involved is already dead and buried, not much missed. Well then, as you see, Divine Justice Herab has already been carried out. You blamed an innocent woman, one who might have sympathy for you if you had told her the truth. Not all nobles are the same. Ah! I never thought! You will have time to think about your action in the dungeon. She should be hanged! You should be hanged. She acting for the love of What? <laughs> God damn it. She acted for the love of her siblings. 30. <laughs> Surely you can't understand that. No one else needs to die. Alright. <laughs> After that... <laughs> you visit the Royal Treasury and check on your available funds. That always helps. You have 7,922 gold lassi and 9 silver tilassi. Damn. I'm rich. Totally legit. <laughs> <laughs> Legitness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we only had a partial success when we were dealing with internal affairs before, yeah. and I kind of want to raise my foreign affairs as well. Then do that. So I'm gonna work on those for now. Yeah. History, foreign affairs, intrigue, internal affairs. I'm so happy. The domain of Terex, far to the set. Oh wow, we want it by a lot. Yeah. Has warned. With Ixi has warred with Ixian on and off for centuries, even when both were part of the Novan Empire. Your grandmother assisted the Ixian knights in putting down the last disagreement 32 years ago. The island domain of Milani was once a small outpost of the Novan Empire, but was simply forgotten about in the chaos 1600 years ago. They are so displeased. They are so pleased to have gained their independence without violence that they have remained a strong trade partner to this day. You learned that. In the decline of the Novan Empire, slave raiders from Orcus terrorized the western coastline, until your paternal great-grandfather, then Duke of Coorus, led a fleet to the capital and came back with most of their treasury. Wow, we have nothing more to learn about foreign affairs. Yay! And we're, on, that. we're almost done with that. Several generations back, the ruler of Eleth and Sedna, neighboring Talasi, married. The civilians of Eleth objected to this foreign influence, and their resulting have heir died in suspicious circumstances, after which the title was passed on to a uh, distant branch of the family rather than another child of the Aleth Sedan Union. I don't know how to say those things. There was many dark rumors about the second husband of the Duchess of Lila. Yeah, Lila. Uh, possibly because he was a commoner. It was whispered that he was once assaulted, that he once assaulted the young Duchess of Ele El Eleth before her untimely marriage and demise. After years of marriage and three children, the Duchess of Lila divorced her second husband and refused to say why. Shortly afterwards, he was found dead in a nearby forest. The Duchess of Lila and her son, the Earl of Lowe, have been estranged ever since. The Earl of Lowe now lives with his sister, the Duchess of Mead. So we just oh. met him, I believe. Yeah. As you're walking one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead. A single dry leaf flutters in his talons. An and how owl in daylight and a dead leaf? So many pearls will die in the next few months. A young gardener has also paused in his work to watch the bird's flight. 
Wait, you've seen that boy before. You! I wonder who this is, Mr. Apple Thief. A uh, good day, princess. You were thief. You stole my apple. Who, me? I saw you sneaking out of the garden. Sure, you saw me in the garden because I work here. Name's Everard. I don't remember any Everard working here. I'm sure Princess doesn't know the name of every surgeon in this big surgeon servant in this big place. Actually, I do. Huh, not what I would have expected. Well, you've caught me. I snuck into this house to steal an apple and look at a pretty girl. What are you gonna do about it? Tell him to leave. I don't know. I don't want him to keep. I want to know the story by around this guy. Uh. Believe me, I tried to get his story forever. Why do I not get it? Apple thief. Because you do it legit, and I don't. Nothing. Nothing as oh, long okay, as you leave now. I didn't realize that was you. I didn't expect Princess to have a sense of fun. Maybe we'll meet up again sometime. He winks at you and saunters off towards the hedge. Bye. Apple thief. Okay, let's become more willful. Yes. Oh, all the Use bonus. the road treasury and check your available funds, and it's the same as last time because nothing has changed. Okay. All right. Now, our internal affairs are almost maxed out, but we don't yes. need to deal with that for now. Instead, yes. let's do world... And let's do Something. sense magic. Yes, I guess we need that. I don't know for sure. World we need history, it. sense magic. That yeah. way, we know when magic's gonna happen. The Novan Empire once had an outpost on the western edge of the continent, but was driven out 600 years ago. The most important domain in the area today is Shina. Shangila. Until 200 years ago, Shangila was not a true domain, but a confederate of trading cities, city-states, and each largely independent except from the limited rule of an elected council. An internal dispute led to the event eventual victorious general declaring himself king. In recent years, the queen of Shangila has pursued an ex expansionist policy cons conquering several smaller domains nearby and bringing them under her control. Man, I'm bad at reading. I have nothing more to learn about world okay. history. You learn to tell the difference between different kinds of magical signatures so that you can tell roughly what kind of spell you detect is meant to achieve. Uh, you expand your magical perceptions to give you some idea of what a detective spell, where a detective spell was cast from and how long ago. Remember that the festival of the good lady is approaching. There will be a public celebration for the commoners, followed by a grand gall of nobility. A grand gall? There will be dancing. As queen, you will have expected to lead the press. press I'm not. I'm not. The moment your picture pops up, I stop reading. <laughs> procession and take part in the ceremony of planting, possibly giving a speech. However, since you are not yet crowned, it is required. It is not required, and may not be safe to expose you to the public. What do you mean, not safe? Outside of the castle, you're less well protected. If anyone means to harm you, think on it now. Decide later. Word has come from the factory for books that you have funded. They have assembled enough equipment to begin printing uh, test pamphlet, pamphlets. Yeah. As the royal sponsor, it was your right to decide the content of the first printing. Ooh. Um. 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 I don't know. <clears throat> Everything sounds pretty fun to do, right? Mm. You want that, don't you? I kind of want to do this. I'm going to make another save. And, uh, textbooks. Let's, let's call it textbooks. Yeah, sure. Uh, all right. Let's say pro woman propaganda. I think the people of Nova don't have enough respect for magic use. I want to print pamphlet about women. Being afraid of magic can blind people to more ordinary danger. We should respect magic, but not fear it. Your mother thought something similar. He sighs. As you wish, there's a letter for you as well. It's from... Briony or something. I went to yeah. school with her, but she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess... Douche... Douche... <laughs> Duchess. 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 <laughs> You've said it a few times that I've tried to ignore, but that was completely just douche. She complained. Oh my, gosh. <laughs> oh my god! Just complained that her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. She's bored and looking for adventure. Well, I don't have any, any to su su suggest. Why can't I have another? I give up to her. Okay, mood. 
I'm completely where I want to be now. Yeah. Um. I cannot talk to anyone. I feel sad. Okay, I'm gonna do visit the dungeons. You sneak a peek at some of the luckless peasants out in the dungeons. Petty thieves and troublemakers. Now suffering in the dark. They're obviously bad people, but seeing them so miserable still feels unfair. There must be a better way. Okay. Um, we're almost done with internal affairs. We have 51 in naval strategy. We're up here in magic. Um, how to do this? I think we should keep getting our magic up. Let's wield more magic and let's yeah. get some foreign affairs. Wait. Let's see, I don't think we need that anymore. Here, I'm gonna put on my boarding school uniform so I can see my actual skill totals. Let's see, would this be 23? Uh, I think this would be. A, I think we can cap out our sun's magic if we wanted yeah. to. Maybe. So I think we're. I think we should do this. Let's okay. try for it. I burped. You learn to detect. Oh! oh! That's totally sweet. legit. <laughs> totally legit. <laughs> I'm the most legit. You have no idea. <laughs> Okay, let's try it like this. Let's see if this does it. You learn how to maintain a low-level deflection field so that will, that magical attacks not directly targeted at you will slide harmlessly aside. That doesn't need much power so you can keep it up for long periods of time. You learn how to directly counter offensive magic with your own power so that you can burn out a spell or that someone else has cast. This is very dangerous if the other person's spell is too powerful. You learn to detect... Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, I'm just gonna leave it. It's yeah. my own mistake. You learn to detect the latent powers that signifies the woman even when he or she is not actively working magic. You expand your senses, learning to detect spells and magical creatures at a greater distance. It's okay, come on. Today is the procession and planting of the Festival of the Good Lady. Will you be leading to the parade? If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. The people will recover from disappointment. If we use you, there is no recovery. And make a speech. Are you kidding me? I'm the best speech. I'm not, I'm not afraid. Sorry. I'm going to be the best parade, parade leader ever. Parade. Parade. <laughs> parade. <clears throat> My little girl, you prepare your best gown for the occasion and slowly, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's to that's taller than you are? You can tell from excitement and murmurs around you that the people are impressed by your queenly appearance. At the end of the route, you help the priestess turn over the new earth for the new tree to be planted. After the blessings are read, you hold up your hands and call for sounds so that you can speak. My effect... Oh. Affectionate. Yeah, but my video... It thing is... Ended. Your video is frozen? Yes. Oh. There is a pro problem. It came a problem on my screen. Okay, uh... Give me a moment. Okay, close this Hangouts thing. I'm gonna call you again on Hangouts. Okay. stuff happened. My affectionate greetings to you all, and my thanks for it, for it is the people that make this domain great. We are here today to celebrate the gifts of the good lady, the promise of fertility and new birth. And black screen. What? <laughs> there is black screen. No, there... For you close either. your thing and go... You close no. your thing and go... You close your thing and go back on Google Hangouts. My thing's fine. <laughs> okay, because mine is not. Mine is black. Yeah, mine's not a black screen. So that's your fault at this point. Oh, How really? You? Yep, it's on your side. Oh, how do I fix that? Uh, you have to close the window, you have to reopen Google Hangouts, and then go to the 
like chat thing and then rejoin. Recall it. So you have to leave the Google Hangouts. Have you left it yet? Yes. There we go. I don't know what that means. Is that fake? Can you see it? Yes. My stuff works in the morning. Winter always comes, but winter is followed by spring. Each of us faces hardship, but we grow bigger, back, bigger, back stronger than ever. <laughs> now it's time for new beginnings, and for my beginning as your queen. Your words are met with great applause. The procession regroups to return to the castle. As you walk, all of a sudden, a man in black leaps out of the crowd, hanging straight for you as he's holding a sword. Thanks to your quick reflexes, you're able to leap out of the way of the assassin's blade. Panic ripples through the crowd, and moments everything is, everything will be in chaos. Your guards may or may not be able to reach you in time to prevent your attacker's next strike. Mm. Should we fight him, or should we blast him with magic? I kind of want to fight him. Yeah, then go fight him, because I think if we use magic, people are going to be afraid of magic. Not you grip your royal scepter like a staff and strike it at your assailant. All those hours of practice didn't pay off because, you know, that was totally on screen and totally yes. legit. One yes. bullet smashes his hand, forcing him to drop his weapon, and a sweep knocks him from his feet. For a moment on the ground before you, he's helpless. Card, take this man into custody. I want an answer. The assassin suddenly convulses, then goes limp, poison, the way to ensure all secrets are kept. Arrgh. Totally sound great, right? Yep. Damn, I'm angry. Um, let's lower our anger a little bit. You take out some of your frustrations and help us prey animals. You now feel somewhat happier and less angry. You should. There we go. So, we are... Okay. We have enough to do this one, as well as wield magic. So let's do those two. Okay. No, actually, wait, wait, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, resist magic and wield magic. Let's do these. Your increase your skill and power gives you innate resistance to mind affecting magic. Your understanding of the full of power gives you increased resistance to damage caused magic, even without a shield. You can still be hurt, but less than an ordinary human would. You have nothing left to learn about it. You learn to create a blade of solid light, which you can wield like a sword to slice through flesh and stone alike. You learn to direct a beam of searing light through the end of a staff, burning whatever you point at. I'm so cool. Are you ready for the grand ball? All the nobles in the domain are here to see you, to see their queen. Whoop. No one would dare attempt to harm you under this roof, but I don't doubt that your enemies are here, close and watching. He hands you a bit of paper containing a sequence of dots and squiggles. This is the only clue we have so far about who might have sent the attacker, but clues can be misleading. It's safer to assume that everyone is plotting against you. Don't turn your back. He leaves you alone. You puzzle, you puzzle over the scrap of paper, mentally translating symbols into letters. It takes some time to completely crack the code, but you think you can see the reference to place names that indicate the root of the assassin's journey. He came from Merva. There is no time to pursue suspicions now. You have a ball to attend, and more than one person that may want you dead. You finish dressing, descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. So from Merva, eh? All around mm -hmm. the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. You let your eyes rest upon each of them in turn as you've been taught, impressing upon them that you have not a child, but a queen. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for us. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but to look him in the eyes is so sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Cabal alone might have brought three eligible sons all near your age. You look around the room at all your possible partners, which is to say everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whomever you want and you will not be denied. No doubt, intriguing and court success, no doubt every family, every noble family with eligible sons has dreams of a royal wedding. Your choice will raise some hopes and dash others. Feuds could be born here. The Duke of Cabal has not yet yet named any of his sons as his official heir, but his second son, Linley, was always kind to you at school. If you wish to show a favor to Kigal, Linley would be your first choice. The Duchy of Aleth is currently held in Reedsea for its uh, young lord, Adair, who is currently twelve and a head shorter than you are. Aleth is rich territory, and at least little Adair wouldn't have 
wouldn't try to take any liberties. Dancing with Banyan, the Duke of Marie, could be quite awkward if he did not actually wish to marry him. He has been waiting years for a powerful heiress to accept his suit. Not all nobles are created equal. You could choose someone charming and unimportant like the Earl of Mima, a territory too minor for anyone to consider a threat. However, the major families might eat him alive afterwards. If you wish to distract any attention from your marital prospects, you could choose someone clearly ineligible. One of your uncles or an older family man like Earl of Ishtar, or even a woman, though that would be mildly scandalous. Oh my god. <laughs> So many. So where do I even begin? Can I not, like, just dance with the apple thief? No? <laughs> I, that's what I thought was gonna happen. I wanted to dance with the apple thief. Okay, I'm gonna save this here. And dancing. Okay, I don't know what we should Dancing do queen, <laughs> only 17. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Oh. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> we did it. We nailed it. And on that note, guys, next time on Let's Play Long Live the Queen, we'll be getting further into this. We're kind of actually over a halfway point in this game. Maybe. I think we're to the two thirds point, I think. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> So, I shall see you all next time.